Well, um, now we have this question, uh, 1.1.3, uh, this one, uh, I'm just going to highlight here, 1.1.3. And then the question says, um, 5 x squared uh, plus 4 greater than 21 x. Well, uh, we need to, rem to remember that or to pay attention that this is not an equation. Uh, this is an inequality because of the symbol greater than. Okay, uh, unlike equations, the inequality solutions are not like fixed numbers like we were doing in the equ with the equations. Remember, uh, before when we were asked to find for x, uh, the solutions were like uh, the solutions solutions were like uh, x equal to uh, five or x is equal to to negative four, right? But with inequality, solutions wouldn't be like that. It would be an interval, like let's say something like from negative four uh, to five, something like that. Okay, this is an interval that takes all the values that are in between negative four and five in the number line. Okay, so um, let's let's do it. I'm going to start by writing the equation first. Uh, it's question one point one point three that says uh, five x squared uh, plus four greater than 21 x. Okay. The first thing here is to find the critical values. So we first going to find the critical values. Okay. They are the values uh, that determine the boundaries. Okay. So there are these values like, uh, let's say we're going to find the critical, uh, critical, Values. How do you do that then? Okay. We are going to treat this as if it was a, an equation, okay? We're going to write over here, uh, 5x squared plus 4 greater than 21x. Now I'm going to move the 21x over, okay? So, so I can just follow the order of quadratic equation. So this will be like 5 x squared minus 21x uh, plus four greater than zero. Okay, we move uh, the negative 21 over and then they left with zero. Okay, this 21 moved over and then that greater than zero. Now, what are we going to do then? We're going to factorize this. But how do you factorize with uh, um, something with an um, x with a coefficient with, uh, uh, in front of the x squared? Because earlier when the coefficient was just one, we were just putting bracket like this, open bracket and then write x and then and then we open bracket and close and then work it out. But this time it's it's a little a little different, a little bit different. But it's the same process. What we do in this situation, we're going to take the first term, okay, the negative uh, the, the positive five here times four. So we're gonna take this five here with times with four. So we will do uh, this. The coefficient of the of the first term times uh, by the constant term four, so which makes what twenty. So we write twenty over here. Now here, then I'm going to write all the factors of twenty. Uh, they are like uh, one and twenty, two and ten, four and five. Now I'm going to look in the list of the factors of twenty. Which couple? will give me the sum equal to negative 21. We can see that with four and five, we will never make negative 21, regardless of the combination, four minus five, five minus four, four plus five, five, we cannot get negative 21, neither with two and 10. But with one and 20, yes, we can, if we do negative one and negative 20. So now instead of writing over here, negative 21 X, this is what I'm gonna write. I am going to write five X, squared, I'm going to write minus 1x and then minus 20x uh, and then this plus 4 greater than 0. Oops, this old is just negative 21. Remember? So let me just put the same color. Um, all this is just negative 21 as they we just uh, make it, uh, we just break 20, negative 21 into two terms. Why we do so? Now that we have four terms, we can factorize the four terms by grouping. 
the first two and the last two, like that. So we can just take, preferably, taking the first and the last two. I will factorize this one and that one, and this one and that one. Okay, so I can do, uh, we can see what is common between these two terms. You can see here, it's just X, right? So we write, it's one X, but I prefer to write just X. We write X over here, I open bracket, close bracket, and then common between negative 20 X and positive four. We can just take negative four out as a common factor, okay? And then all this greater than zero. Now, what should be the bracket then? If I take x here, x over here as the common factor, x there and x there as the common factor, then this will be, um, I'm left with 5x uh, minus 1. And then over here also, if I take uh, negative 4 out, so remember, we're taking negative 4 out, and this will be, uh, because negative 4, that will be uh, 5x, because negative 4, times 5x will make negative 20x, okay? You need to be careful there. And then there, it will be what? Minus one, because uh, negative four times negative one makes positive four. So the sign will change here when we take a negative number out as a common factor. Now that we have uh, common, common factors, we have like, um, we have these ones, uh, we have, 5x, 5x minus 1, and 5x minus 1. At the moment that we have common factors like that, we can factorize them. We can say, okay, this is like x minus 4, open brackets, 5x minus 1, greater than 0. Now, um, we, we, we factorize this. Now, never do this. Not again. I'm going to write it here. Because I know usually, uh, students, what they do in this situation, or maybe just move, uh, I'm gonna move this a little bit this way. Okay. Uh, usually, students do this. In this situation, they say, okay, um, okay, I'll be back here because of space. I'm gonna write, they say, okay, fine. They say x minus four is greater than zero or 5x minus one. Okay, let me change the cup because this is wrong. They, they do things like uh, x minus four is greater than zero or 5x minus one is uh, uh, greater than zero. This is, this is wrong. That's wrong, wrong with that. What you can do is to draw the number line, okay? We're going to draw our number line and then uh, see uh, where uh, um, the critical points are. Okay, I'm going to draw my number line. Okay, we can see um, if maybe someone can see that the critical values here are four and one over five, but in case you don't see, let me just move, to, let me first delete my number line. I'm gonna come back to this. Let's find the critical value. The critical value, you're gonna treat um, the inequality as if it was an equality, as if you were substituted by equal sign there. So it's gonna be like um, x minus four equals zero or x or uh, five. Okay. Let's work it out first. This means that x equal to positive four. And then five x minus one equals zero will make uh, 5x equal to 1, which means x is equal to 1 over 5. Um, yes. Now we can draw our number line. Draw the number line. Um, um, make my line a little less thicker. Okay. I show my number line. Now let's do, um, here I wanna place uh, the values. Now I wanna place the values in the number line in ascending order. Remember, it's always uh, from the left to the right, okay? So now negative, uh, no, we have like, I start with uh, one over five. So one over five must be somewhere there. Let's see, one over five somewhere over here. And then, um, so we have like one over five. 
and then we also have like full somewhere there. I cannot revert the order. I cannot put uh, four over here and then one over five. No, it must be one over five before four. Now we're going to trial and error. We're going to set out ourselves. When I pick up, we have like three intervals first. Okay, we have this interval. We have this interval from negative infinity to one over five, and another interval from one over five to four, and another interval from four to uh, positive infinity. So now let's first find uh, in this interval here the sign of the function. How the how the equation, uh, the sign of this equation, of of the equation over here in this interval, it is positive or negative. Now I want to check by trial and error. Pick up any number here. I want to pick up any number. Let's take a number like, I prefer, you can take any number, but I prefer zero because it makes my life much easier. So if I sub zero over here for X, I sub zero for X, I sub zero for X. Now let's see, that would be negative four and that would be negative one. If you do negative four times negative one, if you do negative four over here, times negative one, it makes positive four. So then I understand that in this uh, section, in this um, uh, interval, my, uh, my, my inequality is positive. So this side is gonna be always positive. Now let's move on. Now let's take this inequality now from one over five to four, and then see uh, whether it is positive or negative, okay? When I pick up any number, any random number, but still in that interval, I cannot take a number like seven because seven is not in this interval. Okay, I must take a number like more than one for five and less than four. Okay, let's take a number like um, I'll take a number like like uh, let's take a number like any number like one for instance. If I sub one over here for x, if I sub one for x. Let's say it was one here and then one there. You will see that one minus four makes negative three. And then five minus one, because five uh, x is one, that means five minus one is, 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 is positive four. Negative three times, because this, this means times, so negative three times four makes negative 12. So if I pick up a number like one, let's say number one is here. Um, I see that I got a negative answer. This means that in this interval between one over five and four, the solution is, uh, my inequality is negative. And then over here also, I do the same thing. I'm gonna pick up a number like uh, for, for X, um, a number like um, five, for instance. If I sub five for X, I sub five here for X, and then five there for X, you work it out, you're gonna get a positive answer. It's gonna be a positive number. Note that it will, the sign will always alternate. It's gonna be positive, negative, positive, or negative, positive, negative. It's gonna always alternate. Then, okay, I can now answer the question because we're looking for uh, the, a positive solution, okay? Positive solution because the inequality here is greater than, is it greater than, that's what we're looking for. So greater than means positive. Okay, so I will say that the solution is x is less than one over five or x is more than four because it's gonna take only this part. Uh, this, this, in this interval, uh, it's less than one over five and this interval is more than four. So this is the, these are the solution of uh, the inequality. So. Thank you.